Welcome to Nexus Medical Media. In this video, we'll be talking about prophylaxis of HIV exposed infants. By the end of this video, you should be able to understand the difference between a high risk infant and a low risk infant. You should also be able uh, to know the antiretroviral prophylaxis of uh, these infants cotrimoxazole prophylaxis and the dosing regimens of ART and cotrimoxazole. Right, so if this is your first time, please make sure you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel so that you won't miss any of my latest videos. HIV exposed infants can be classified into two groups, high risk infants and low risk infants. Right, so for high risks, there are four criteria that you need to know. Right, so the first criteria is when the infant's mom had viral load more than 1,000 copies per meal during the last four weeks before delivery. The second uh, criteria Infant born to a newly diagnosed HIV infected woman during labor, delivery, and postpartum period. This is called incidental HIV infection. Third criteria is an infant born to HIV infected woman who has received a less than four weeks of antiretroviral therapy at the time of delivery. And the fourth criteria is an infant whose mother has advanced the HIV disease in the absence of the viral load results, right? So this is what it means to be a high-risk infant. Low-risk infant, on the other hand, we are talking about the infant who doesn't meet the high-risk criteria, right? So for art prophylaxis, we will use uh, this division, high risk and low risk. For high risk infants, uh, these infants are further divided into two groups, those who are breastfed and those who are formula fed. For infants who are breastfed, you give zidovudine, daily zidovudine and nevirapine for 12 weeks. But for those who are formula fed, you give uh, daily uh, zidovudine and nevirapine, but this is six weeks. So you see the difference. The one who is being breastfed, you need to give uh, this art prophylaxis a little longer, right? It's double, it's 12 weeks, but formula fed is six weeks, right? For low risk infant, it doesn't matter the baby is breastfed or formula fed. In both cases, you give nevirapine for six weeks. Right, so this is the art prophylaxis. In addition uh, to this, infants who are HIV exposed, all of them um, should receive prophylaxis with cotrimoxazole. Right, so you start from the age of four to six weeks. Assuming that this is this was an institutional delivery, right? So, but uh, let's say a baby was born somewhere where there is no uh, healthcare facilities, right? So you start at their first encounter with the health system, right? Even if this is after six weeks, at their first encounter, that's when you start cotrimoxazole, right? So where do you, when do you stop? Right. You stop until a negative uh, test at 18 months is done. If the mother is breastfeeding for over 18 months, you will do this test six weeks after breastfeeding has uh, ended. Right, So six weeks after weaning. This is assuming that the result is negative. But if the result is still positive, you continue to give cotrimoxazole prophylaxis until adulthood because cotrimoxazole is uh, effective, it's well tolerated, and it's safe. Right. Now, uh, what I just presented on this slide, 
these are the basics that you need to understand before even going to the dosages, right? So next slides, we'll be talking about uh, the, the regimens, right? So starting with um, antiretroviral therapy, right? Zidovudin. So this is based on the age of the infant and the current weight, right? For example, uh, from birth to six weeks, in an infant who, who was born over 35 weeks of gestation and is uh, less than 2 kg, we give 4 milligrams per kilogram per dose twice daily. For a baby who is 2 kg to 2.49, you give 1 mil is equivalent to 10 milligrams twice daily. If the baby is more than 2.5 kilograms, you give 1.5 mils, that's 15 milligrams twice a day, right? So this is from birth to six weeks. Over six weeks, but less than three kg, you give four milligrams per kg per dose twice a, twice a day. If the baby weighs uh, from three to 5.9 kilograms, you give six mils, that's 60 milligrams twice a day. If the baby is uh, 6 to 7.9 kilograms, you give 9 meals twice daily. And from 8 to 13.9 kilograms, you give 12 meals twice daily. That's for Sidovidin. For Neverapin, from birth to 6 weeks, uh, if the weight is 2 to 2.49 kilogram, you give one meal, that is 10 milligrams daily. Uh, if the baby weighs more than 2.5 kilograms, you give 1.5 meals, that's 15 milligrams daily. If the baby is from six weeks to six months, you give two meals, that's 20 milligrams daily. And from six months to nine months, you give three meals, that's 30 milligrams daily. And from nine months until the cessation of breastfeeding, you will be giving four meals, that's 40 milligrams daily, right? So I recommend you take a screenshot and go over this one more time. And every time you want to remember these doses, right? So next, we'll talk about uh, cotrimoxazole. Right, so for cautery, again, it depends with the age and weight of the baby and also uh, the regimens that you have. Either you have a suspension, uh, you have pediatric formulation, a single strength adult tablet and double strength, right? So it depends with what you have. But the recommended dose for uh, children who are less than six months or who are less than five kilograms. Cotrimoxazole is a combination of two. Uh, drugs sulfamethoxazole and trimethoprim right so the regimen will be 100 milligrams sulfamethoxazole and 20 milligrams trimethoprim right so this is what's recommended in children who are less than six months or less than five kilograms right so if you have this suspension which is a five meal suspension with 200 milligrams uh, of sulfamethoxazole and 40 milligrams of trimethoprim. You need to give half of these to attain uh, this recommended dose in this age group. So half of five meals is 2.5 meals. So this is what you give. If you have a pediatric formulation, this pill, just give it as a, it's, it's a single pill, right? You just dissolve it in water and you give the baby, right? And if you have the single strength, you give a quarter tablet to attain this because a quarter of a 400 is 100 and of 80 is 20, right? So that's what you do. And for double strength, it's not uh, recommended for these children who are, uh, let's just say, below five years. You can't give it, right? So just to start this table. And uh, just to know the age group, for example, uh, let's just go to the next one. From six months to five years or from five to 15 kgs, it's now double the dose. So it's 
the recommended dosage is 200 mg of sulfamethoxazole and 40 mg of trimethoprim. Right. So if you have uh, this suspension, is 5 ml, so is you just give it uh, the whole thing, right? 5 ml. And the frequency is once a day, right? So all these things you give once a day. If you have this pediatric formulation, it means you just have to give how many tablets? Give two. And if you have um, the single strength uh, adult tablet, you give half tablet. For children who are 6 to 14 years or 15 to 30 kg, you give 400, uh, the recommended dosage is 400 milligrams of sulfamethoxazole and 80 milligrams of trimethoprim. Right, so you give um, 10 mils this suspension or four uh, pediatric formulations, four tablets if you have a uh, pediatric formulation or if you have um, these single strength adult tablets which are 400 milligram uh, of uh, 80 milligram. I told you. Uh, 400 milligrams is sulfamethoxazole and 8 is trimethoprim. You just give one tablet. But in this case, now you can give a half tablet of double strength adult tablet. Right. So I don't know, guys, this is a lot. You can take a screenshot and go through this over and over again until you understand. Right. Uh, thank you so much. Thank you for watching. About the dosage, I'm not worried, guys. You should always be safe if you don't have to cram the doses you can actually check in your uh, local guidelines right but what you need to remember is this this is uh, the basics of everything that you'll be doing right high risk infants low risk infants and the use of cotrimoxazo thank you for sticking around if this video is helpful please make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe the most important thing share with your colleagues and comment in the comment section i would like to get feedback from you you are the boss